second Expat's Eye Shenzhen Photo Contest was launched in June and so far has received a total of 1,200 photos submitted by 120 entrants from 40 countries. The contestants express their affection for Shenzhen by recording through their lenses the city's urban landscapes, folk customs, culture, sports and arts, the international communities, natural sceneries, and historical changes. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the Shenzhen Special Economic Zone. The city's rapid development, which has been boosted by China's reform and opening up, encourages the expatriate residents here and gives inspiration to many of their photo works. Humans thrive in Shenzhen. So does the wildlife. Many photographers in Shenzhen are keen on documenting with their cameras nature in park, woodlands, wetlands, and coastlines across the city. I started taking pictures here for birds in, in 2012. I started to make like friendship with many of the people here. We are exchanging ideas of places, of equipment. Isaac Cohen came to Shenzhen in 2016. He works as a science teacher at a local international school and is an enthusiast for nature photography, football, and rock music. I like going to different parks in Shenzhen to take some pictures of wildlife. I started doing that maybe since I arrived to Shenzhen uh, around four years ago. Most of the people, when they see the pictures, they will say like, wow, do we really have these species in the city? Do we have those snakes and those lizards and all of those birds in Shenzhen? In his spare time, Cohen often visits the Dasha River, Shenzhen Bay, OCT Wetlands, and Bija Hill Park to observe and photograph wildlife in order to document the natural living conditions of local species. Yeah, so basically well, when we go to a park, we try to be unadverted by the animals, right? Mm -hmm. So you try to use a camouflage so the birds won't think that you are threatening them. You don't have enough time to set your camera. Sometimes <laughs> you don't get really, really nice pictures. Sometimes I will be happy just to spot the species, you know, like, oh, I saw the spoonbill and I have a picture of the spoonbill. Starting in January, on his social media account, every day Cohen has been sharing photos of animal species he observes in Shenzhen, and includes explanations of the species and his feelings about them. He has done this for more than 300 days so far, and his entries for this year's photo contest were selected from the photos he shares. When I see the, the lizards, is early in the morning, around 10 a.m. It's a good time to spot them. I feel it's one of the most beautiful projects in the city. This is a heaven for a lot of species and it has basically everything that the species need to survive. You can find here clean water, enough resources, different species of plants that will provide spaces for all of these species to live, to nest, to survive. It attracts several species of insects, butterflies, dragonflies, bees, everything to create a very complex network. Whether you are a well-equipped photographer or just an enthusiast who likes to take photos with your mobile phone, the contest will always open its door to you. If you are interested, please don't hesitate to join. I feel that it's a great opportunity and it's a great chance for the expat community to show 
their own point of view. The way we look at the city. So I think it's a very, very nice opportunity for the expat community to be able to show their point of view. I hope Expats Action Zen Photo Contest will be bigger and better. Yeah, pun, yeah, how.